guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm super excited because we're doing something a little bit different um it's something that i've been really enjoying lately and it's gonna be crafting so um i'm gonna take you along with me we're gonna go to the dollar store i also went to i don't remember the exact name but i think it was like a dollar or more store or something like that and i got some things there as well um which i didn't get filmed unfortunately but um, I'm super excited. I got a huge bag full of stuff from the dollar store and this isn't even all of it Because um, I got some stuff for Liam to play with <laughs> um, But yeah, I was super impressed with their selection and I'm mainly showing you their Christmas stuff, but like I'm loving that store. I am <laughs> So yeah, uh, we're gonna do a few crafts and uh, It's gonna be fun. So stay tuned if you want to know how to make um Mickey ornaments, a Mickey topper slash large ornament, I guess you could call it, um, and a Mickey wreath, and a couple sensory items like bottles and bins. Um, yeah, lots of fun stuff. So here we go. All right, Liam. Yeah? Are we going to go down the slide and then go into the Dollar Tree? Does that sound like fun? Okay. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Well, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting. Cross-nipping at your nose So I'm offering a simple phrase Although it's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas It's not roasting That frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Okay, so here's just an overview of what I got at the Dollar Tree and then what I also got at the Dollar and More store. Um, so quickly we got the, um, ornaments, which I, these are actually just ornaments for my tree. Um, and I just wanted to pick up some more, some candy canes again for my tree. Um, and these, I was planning on using, um, um, in the sensory bin, um, or making like a snow globe, something out of them. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I just thought they were really cute. Um, I got some garland, two of them. I got 15 feet, um, so I got two of those. I got these ornaments, um, because my plan is I'm going to go, I'm going to have to make another trip to the Dollar and More store because I think that the, um, ears that I want to use for the Mickey ornaments, um, are going to be from that store because I didn't like the sizing that they had at the, uh, uh, Dollar Tree. I just thought they were awkward sizing for the ears. Um, then I got these to go in the sensory bin. This is to make a snowman for my fridge. It's a scarf. Um, <laughs> gonna be a scarf. And then um, we have two hats. So this one is from the Dollar and More store and this is from the Dollar Tree. Looking at them, the Dollar and More actually looks nicer to me. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, they from far away, you wouldn't be able to tell. So, I mean, I wouldn't spend the money <laughs> just to go to the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I got these at the Dollar and More store. So, this was $2.99. And then this was $2. Um, so, not bad. Um, so, we're going to make that. Um, and then I got these at the Dollar Tree. Um, so, I got two small wreaths and one large one. 
And then we got a couple picks over here, which I'm going to use for the sensory bin. Um, these clear ornaments. I am going to attempt to open them up and make uh, Disney ornaments out of them. So we will see if I can actually do that. Um, I got some stuff for my sensory bottle. I got a water bottle to make the sensory bottle in. Um, and then I got some felt, orange felt for the snowman nose. And I got some tape for wrapping. <laughs> so yeah, that's my haul. So the first craft that we're going to do is making a sensory bin um, for Liam. So it's going to be his Christmas theme one. I just am reusing a Tupperware that we got cookies in. Okay, so I'm just going to start by opening up the garland. So my plan for this um, is I'm going to be cutting it into small little sections. Ooh, I'm going to have to vacuum. <laughs> lots and lots of... Uh, stuff everywhere okay so yeah we're just gonna cutting this into little sections and then dropping it right into the basket although it's been said many so that actually ended up being enough i think um so i'm not gonna use my second one so i will have that saved for another time um so now i'm gonna take these picks that I got and I'm literally just going to take them apart, deconstruct them and throw them in there as well. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. This is the finished sensory bin. So he has lots of stuff to play with. And yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. Different colors, textures. I think he's really gonna like it. On a side note, look how much I'm gonna have to clean up. <laughs> okay, so for our next craft, we're gonna be doing the sensory bottle this time. Okay, so we are gonna start with the three-fourths cup of warm water. So we're gonna just slowly pour that in. And I just took the label off. Um, this one actually came off super easy, so I didn't have to do anything else to it. Um, but if you need to, you can always use like rubbing alcohol to take that. Okay, so there's my water, agua. And then I'm gonna put in some, what would you call this? Ornament filler? <laughs> Um, ooh, yeah, definitely gonna vacuum later. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. Okay, so next, um, you're supposed to use clear, uh, hand soap. I'm using dish soap because that's what I have on hand and I don't feel like going and buying more because we don't really... <laughs> I don't really do my dishes by hand. Um, I like to um, use my dishwasher because <laughs> why would you do things by hand if you have the option of using a dishwasher, right? So yeah, we have this on hand for in case of, I was going to say in case of emergencies, but really it's uh, in case I can't put something in the dishwasher. So I'm just going to fill it up. Try to get it as full as I can. Um, less bubbles you have, the better. That's why you put the water in first. And then we're going to screw the cap on. Okay. And we're going to test it out and see if I like it. So let's glue this little guy up. So that's my uh, sensory bottle. 
He's gonna love it. Okay, so next one we're gonna do is the Disney wreath, um, the Mickey Mouse wreath. So I'm basically just gonna outline how I want it to go, then I'm gonna hot glue and hope for the best. Okay, so what I'm going with is I put the hat on the large wreath first, and then I'm going to hot glue this down, and then I'm gonna hot glue the ears on top, like that. That's what Christmas is for. Okay, so it's not, I mean, I should have known. Um, I'm not using, I don't have any E6000 left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to use these um, larger popsicle sticks and I'm going to use those to kind of like support it because it is going to be a wreath. Um, the back's not going to be showing. So we're just going to kind of use these as support. So we're just going to hot glue all over this popsicle stick. And then hopefully that will help it. Um, support. <laughs> same thing to the other side <laughs> okay so now to make the hat be able to stand up we're gonna do some more popsicle sticks on the back um, just as like a brace <laughs> on my tree so um we'll see what I end up where I end up putting it um but I'm definitely gonna use it because I really really like how it turned out okay so for the next craft we're gonna be making some Mickey ornaments that are gonna turn out somewhat like this um except for they're gonna be more like mini ornaments because they have the uh little bow and bell on top or not bell but what are these called pine cones Okay, so these are really easy to make. Um, so I, like I said, I got these at the Dollar Tree and then I got these at the Dollar and More store. Um, so we're just gonna take off the little ornament hanger thing. Um, so you still have like this uh, bulb part that you're gonna have to chop off. <laughs> All right, we're gonna saw it off. Um, it's actually really easy to do. So I've been just using a kitchen knife and the one that you wanna use is like, one that's like serrated. Um, I don't know if you can see that well enough, but there, kind of. <laughs> Anyways, um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take it and I angle it in first and then down. So that way I have like a smooth, flat cut. And we're just going to saw back and forth um, while turning the ornament. Uh, so you're sawing completely around it. <laughs> piece that comes off and then you'll see it's pretty flat now um, it's okay that it's uh, you know, not perfect at the top because we're gonna be gluing that on top of the other one so we're gonna do that to all the other ones now as well um, the smaller walls <laughs> are cut off we're gonna take the part that has the hole now and you're gonna line it up um, you'll see that uh, these ones have a line um, going around the top um, all the way around so I like to do it so that that line 
isn't visible from the front of the ornament. Um, and I've just bent the greenery forward. And uh, so we're going to line it up and then we're going to put some hot glue and glue it on where we think it looks nice. So, yeah, hot glue. And then I'm just going to take it and put it right about there, I think. So you'll notice that I have the line facing the side instead of the front. So we're just going to hold that in place until that dries, and then we'll do the other side. Okay, so just like that. And then to the other side, we're going to line it up and do it like that. better maybe actually I don't know they both look so good I like this one maybe better I don't know I'm gonna use them both on my tree <laughs> so these are gonna be my little mini ears um so yeah that's how I did my mini ears and my Mickey ears were the exact same way the Mickey ears were all from the dollar more store um I just really liked the way that they were sized there um they had two different sizings and so we had the small and the large Whereas the Dollar Tree, their small size and large sizes were just really off. They didn't look proper, so um, at least in my eyes. So um, feel free to do what you want. I'm just telling you my opinion. Okay, so for this next craft, um, I've never done this before, and we're just winging it. So we are going to be making a... What I saw on Pinterest, it was a Mickey topper. Um, I'll link all like the inspiration posts where I got all these ideas from down below. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> we're just gonna wing it. And uh, probably need to make this stand up a bit more. Um, yeah, just see how it goes. So. That's the plan. So right now I'm just going to stick some toothpicks in here so that I can paint this um, easier. And I don't have to get super messy. It's still a high possibility, but you know, that's the goal anyways. <laughs> black acrylic paint at the Dollar and More store um, a while ago and then I got this diamond sugar dust at the Dollar and More store. Um, the black paint was $1.75. The sugar dust was $2.99. Um, so my plan is to mix them together and then hopefully have a shiny black sparkly paint. Uh, so we'll see if that works. If not, then... We'll just paint them black. I don't know how much it was to use. I will say I do find joy in um, mixing paints. I made, um, and if you want me to do a tutorial on this one as well, I will. Um, for Christmas, I made Josh's mom the Game of Thrones dragon eggs. Um, from uh, stuff at the Dollar and More store, actually. <laughs> the Dollar Tree is a little bit of a, I don't want to say a jaunt, but it's not as close as the, the Dollar and More store. Okay, I'm going to start with the ears, or what's going to be. <laughs> step I took out the toothpicks off the top um, which is actually the bottom because I used less paint on there and there's less sparkles um we're just gonna like 
put the hat on. Oh yeah, paint's definitely not dry in the bottom. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to kind of like eyeball where I want the ears to go. And then I'm going to cut a hole in the hat so I can glue the ears straight onto the other styrofoam. So I'm just going to make a hole on this side. Actually, I'm going to cut right on the seam. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so I am putting toothpicks in the bottom here, and I'm putting more glue because my last attempt didn't work, and this should be able to hold it into place with the toothpicks. And the glue on top. I already feel so much more secure. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute though. Very ooh. so cute. Okay. What do you think? Okay. You like it? Okay. Yeah, I turn it upside down. Do you see all the snowflakes? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Wow. Wow. Also, look how cute this turned out. I'm so excited. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. Um, but I'm absolutely in love. It's so sparkly. So pretty. I might put it on my tree. We'll see. Is it deer? <laughs> yeah. Is it pine cone? Oh, so cute. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good ideas and tips on making DIYs yourself and I will see you guys next time. Bye!